welcome to Wits Up headquarters once again. You're on the Wits Up couch. This is Hella. Is that close enough? That's good, yeah. How do, you, how do we say it? Hella. Hella. Yeah. Am I saying it? Am That's I? right. Okay, cool. I'm going to keep working on it. <laughs> I think it's very important to try and get athletes' names yeah. correct. Well, it's a very Danish name. It is very Danish. So there yeah. is no one else with that name, I'm pretty sure. Well, no. In this race. Well, no. <laughs> no. Well, unless there's maybe an age group, a Danish age yeah, group. Yeah, right, I don't think so, actually. Yeah, right. Yeah. Does it mean anything? Has it got any significance, your name? Like, well, does it it's... mean unicorn? Well, like it that. has some, comes from Norway or the Scandinavian roots up there. It's yeah. something with, um, actually something with luck. Luck? As like in luck. Like, luck. Like, no, 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 good luck. Like, oh, luck. <laughs> luck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Okay. So you'll take that into race day then? Yep. I'll do that. Yeah. Why not? Hey, first time here. Is it the first time you've actually been to Kona at all? Yes. Oh wow, so first time racing, first time on the island, yeah. what are your first impressions? Well, it's, uh, we've been here now for two weeks and uh, it's, it was quite special, right? We flew from, well, landed in San Francisco and flew from there and you basically just fly over water and then you land on, the, on an island in the middle of yeah. nowhere. <laughs> yeah, which is black lava. Yeah, everywhere. yeah so yeah. it was, uh, that was pretty special. Yeah. Um, Ben has been here, my husband has been here, I think six or seven times. Yeah. So he's obviously been explaining about how it was and I've been following, of course. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I like it. It's, 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 it's very hot and humid. And I think uh, before you actually can imagine what it is, you've got to try it. Yeah. Because I don't think I've, I've really, really raced many places and traveled many places, but I've never tried anything that extreme. Yeah. But the locals also say it has been quite, quite hot. Quite yeah, hot and okay. humid the last... Yeah week or so yeah so um so it's not only me <laughs> yeah, yeah but i think we it's but i yeah i i enjoy it here it's um you know this sport has taken us so many places and yeah it's, um, it's, you know you, you gotta sometimes just uh, stop for a moment and and just look out and then take it in and you know yeah. we don't take this for granted it's it's quite it's quite special yeah well speaking of not taking things for granted um it appeared like for quite some time your build-up to kona was going well but then unfortunately i think you posted maybe a, a week ago or a couple of weeks ago um that you ended up with a bit of an injury yeah um yeah. Can, you, can you talk me through that um yeah. what, what happened and then where, where you are now yeah so um yeah it was five weeks ago that um yeah i, I started to get some pain in my foot uh, and it, it came on quite quick um, where it just forced me to just stop running and I was on training camp in Mallorca yeah. and straight away uh, learned from experience I got an MRI just to figure out what it is I have many times just tried to train through and not get an MRI and then make it way worse yeah. um, so we got that done and it was um, yeah inflammation around the Pioneo's tendon she she okay and where it attaches on the bone, so I was pulling hard on the bone, I had bone edema, so if I kept running, it could turn into a broken foot yeah. or a stress fracture. Right. So it was basically, you got to offload it straight away, yeah. uh, or else you will not be able to yeah, do anything really, <laughs> yeah, because you got a broken foot, right? Yeah. Um, so we took it quite serious, and, and obviously I was in a lot of pain, and I not only physical pain but mentally pain because oh, yeah. um, I was fit and everything was going fine and well and I was excited to uh, to tow the line over here. Mm. But um, I think we've done everything we, we could and, and I've done bunch of aqua jogging, uh, both in the deep end and the shallow end. And then um, a week ago I tried to run and I was actually running pain, more or less pain free. Oh wow. Um, so I've done four runs since. Yep. And they have just got gradually better. Yep. Not long runs, but I'm running and um, it feels so good. Yeah. And well, uh, the good thing about triathlon is right, you carry your fitness from the swim bike run. So, yep. uh, well, this is a marathon, and, but it feels, I, I can't feel I haven't been running. Yeah. I, feel, okay. I feel fine. Oh, I feel wow, fine that's running. great. Um, just tipping along like I always do when I'm yep. running, of course, it's, it's not fast, but I mean, a marathon isn't fast. Yeah. Uh, compared to coming from short course racing, yeah, it, it is not fast. Yeah. Um, so if you can just go on a, like a steady, solid pace, 
And just keep going. You yeah. do fine. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, well, that's fantastic. It must yeah. be a... Uh, a weight off your shoulders in terms of stress and yeah. yeah get your head back into the into the game definitely because when we left Denmark uh, just over two weeks ago I was like I don't know if I'm gonna race yeah and it was really weird to you know you travel somewhere and you're prepared and you you know made this nice setup and everything and mm. and then you don't know if you're racing so just when I was unable to run just a week ago just you know, you change your mindset and you actually get into the game and you start to focus on all the small details, what you can do on race yeah. day and, and you start to, you know, live or think about the race in the terms of that you are actually towing that line and you're actually mm -hmm. going to go out and put your best foot forward yeah. and you're going to go out there and be competitive like you would always have yeah. been, right? So that was just, we were just excited, like Ben and I, like small kids, like after my second <laughs> run, we were just hugging and jumping <laughs> like yeah yeah yeah, it's, yeah. Still good. it's still good but of course we didn't want to be carried away because um, yeah. you never know right you have to always see how does it feel the next day and it yeah. was just pulling up pulling up quite well so oh that's great news yeah so well as i said like in if it this has been an injury like at a random time in the year yeah. it's not a big deal right a month yeah. out of running or a little bit more it's not a big deal i've tried yeah. that millions of time in my career but it's just the timing, and mm. of course the timing is always bad, but right now we're quite bad. Yes, a um, little bit, yeah. So, and it's not that I have a ton of experience running a marathon, so I just wanted to really, you know, try to actually put in some longer runs in training, but, yep. well, that did not happen, and I did that, the um, ITU World Long Distance yep. Championship in July in Denmark, which is 30 kilometers, and that's been my longest run. Yeah, since I'm in Arizona, which was right. basically a year ago. Yes. So. Oh, that's. Oh gosh, yeah, it's been that long. Yeah. Yeah, right. Well, you did all right at yeah. the long distance. You were, yeah, yeah, you did yeah. Okay. In Denmark, yeah, it was <laughs> a brilliant day. Yeah. Yeah. Was it awesome winning uh, on oh, on yeah. turf? That yeah. was uh, one of you know you have a handful of amazing results in my career yeah. where you can just it just goes deep in where you just. Wow, this, yeah. this is what you live for and you just get everything out and yeah and I had a brilliant performance and I was uh, you know getting off the bike and then um, winning the race on the run just yeah. running away with this just steadily running just yeah. getting a bigger bigger gap because it was uh, Annabelle likes what I think yeah. was and Barbara Rebeer. Yes, yeah, yeah. She yeah, was yeah. second and yeah. Barbara she can run like 33 and a 10k so I know she can run yeah um, and she's also done some very good half marathons mm -hmm. so no, it's 30k, but still. Yeah. Um, and also, I've only done a number of that yeah. in my whole career that long, yeah. so I didn't know. But yeah, I run, ran 156, so I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, not too shabby. No, that was yeah. that was a very good day. Yeah. And you know, but you're you, smiling. Like, yeah, yeah, it still you, means a lot. It does. It's like it's you don't take those experiences and those performances for granted, right? Because yeah. many times it's um, the results are well are hard, or you've had a tough day at the office and it yeah. did not come to you out there even though you, you put in the, the training but it was like an uphill battle all day but this yeah. day here was like just good I just felt good yeah. that day right and yeah it's just all about getting it right yeah for race day and that day it worked it awesome nice. yeah I was watching online and I saw yeah I saw the finish and yeah, yeah I was very it was, emotional it was very cool to yeah. watch yeah. it's nice and it's um it's important to just uh, you know just let go of all boundaries and just yeah, celebrate and be happy and just let yep. it all out. Awesome, yeah. and you did. It was great. Yeah, it was great. Um, I want to ask you, you. You've had, you know, a long career. You've been in the sport for quite some time, but you are obviously very new to iron distance. Yep. At what point did you make the decision that the iron distance was? It was. T I don't want to say time to have a crack because not everyone no. has to do iron no. distance. I think we get stuck in this cycle of, oh, well, you've done a half, so when are you yeah. going to do the full? Yeah. It, which it shouldn't be. But when, so when did that decision get made and, and why? Um, so beginning of 17, it was actually Ben that kind of planted a seed saying, yeah. I think I think you could do well in this distance. And yeah. I was like, whoa, that's really long. <laughs> it's twice the distance that I normally do. And, yeah. you know, I'm not a, a mileage person. And But on the other hand, it was just kind of like, hmm, it could be quite cool though. A new yeah. challenge and it was like a new chapter. and. I felt yeah. that I've mastered uh, Olympic distance and half distance very well. Yeah. And I, 
it kind of just opened up a whole new experience and a whole new challenge in, mm. in triathlon and I think that's pretty cool that you yeah. can just be the sport for that many years and then suddenly you're just opening up in something unknown Yeah, and you're putting yourself out there and just um, yeah, seeing what you what you can and yeah. I've always been extremely fascinated with uh, what we can push ourselves to and like what we can do with our body physiologically yeah. and um, yeah, doing an Ironman it's, it's, it's definitely a different feeling and a sensation and you go through a lot of other things that you go through in half yeah. like mentally yeah. and a lot of rollers during the day and yeah. it's a lot of there's so much yeah in, in your mind out mm. there of yeah. course you need to be fit but at the same time you are together with yourself for nine hours and there's yeah. a lot of things that's going on yeah absolutely. right and you will go through dark patches out there it's just about how you handle it and how you yeah. move on and stuff like that so I think it's been a great challenge yeah um, and uh, yeah I'm excited for it yeah and so well so that was going to be my next question excited for for race day yeah 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 Definitely. What, what are you looking forward to the most out there, do you think? Ooh, I don't know. I, yeah. <laughs> well, I just want to get going, right, and, yeah. and see what happens. Um, I'm a racer by heart, so yeah. I will obviously, um, I'm going to race it, but still I, I, I want to be smart and I want to, yeah. you know, of course, respect, um, respect, the, respect the environment, the, yeah. the heat and humidity and then be smart on the, the nutrition and the hydration and the cooling because I think it's just so important here like absolutely this is not just an island this is really as especially a unique place to do an island absolutely I think uh, a mistake in any iron man or iron distance you can start to rectify but a mistake here can be very very costly yeah yeah, yeah. and I've seen that like obviously I've followed the race for many years now yeah. and you know, you think that, wow, she's got it, but it's like, well, what's happening? Yeah, yeah, mm. absolutely. And, and I think you, you, we gotta, you know, we, we gotta know that we are all suffering out there. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, one moment you can feel great, another moment you can't, and, and you're not, and, and someone is sitting down or stretching something or yeah. throwing up or whatever they're doing, yeah. right, and yeah. walking backwards. So yeah. I've seen so many things. Absolutely. And, and so I just think that it's, of course, it's it's a race, but at the same time, it's also you just gotta keep moving forward and sticking yeah. to your plan. Yeah. Yeah. I think if you can s stick to your plan and your, your nutrition plan and your cooling plan, I think you have higher um, chances of doing well. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Ooh, exciting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to uh, just uh, quickly touch on. You know, I've seen one of your training partners every now and then. He he posts that he tries to keep up with you. Uh, his name is Ben, he's your husband. <laughs> but you destroy him these days, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. Well, um, he's he's getting into shape quite quick when we when we train together, but it's often if I have a long ride, I would often go out for like two and a half hour first and then come home and pick him up. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that he's sitting off camera, just laughing and shaking his head. And then it, yeah. it's you know, and then he will, he will be there for the intervals because he likes to just go out and go hard and then go home. Okay, right. And even in the cool down, he's way too slow, so I would just ride home. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like he, he gives it a good good effort in, in oh, the intervals. Good, good effort. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's yeah. it's great when we can get yeah. out and train together. Um, yeah. But here we. He rented a bike one day and that was that was okay. It was the yeah. same happening that we passed White Claw and he's like, and I still had 45 minutes to go. He's like, I think I'm going home. <laughs> he was riding so slow there was no point in him even hanging yeah. on there. And and, he, and he's busy with work and stuff. He's here, busy so with he's work tired. and it's been great with uh, having him in the car yeah. here with the support and yeah, testing out so wheels and helmets and yeah. Nutrition, you need water, whatever. Yeah. Good so have. it's good to have a yeah. car following yeah. you. <laughs> I love it. Hey, we've got a question from one of our uh, audience members, let's call them that. Ooh, what food do you think about the most while racing? Um, post Ironman cheeseburgers are probably my biggest motivation from 30k onwards. That's from Larissa Svan. So, what do you think about most while racing? What food? 
Well, I don't think about food when I'm racing. I yep. think about it when I'm training. Ah, a lot. All right, let's. All right, what's the number one food to think about when you're training? Um, well, in racing, what I want to have after a race is always pizza. Same, but I just want that every day anyway. Well, <laughs> no, that's. Well, I'm just. Um, maybe I'm quite boring. Like just like um, I'm, I eat way too much like Greek yogurt or yogurt in general yeah. with berries and granola and like everything like that is just something that I love it's maybe not super unhealthy but it, <laughs> it I love that stuff yeah um, so it drives me in training to to, to think ah and if I don't have yogurt at home or a lot of bags of granola I'm very very disappointed I can be very disappointed when I open the fridge and there's nothing there yeah but that good coffee I get a nice espresso. It's just Ooh, yeah. together with that. It's also something that really um, I yeah. love. Yeah, yeah. Um, but in racing, no. I've, I've I have gels up through my comes out of my eyeballs. Yeah, it's right. like I don't really want anything at that point. Yeah. Um, until like the core temperature comes down, and then yeah, I want pizza. Pizza. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. I used to love it when my I, no, sorry, I used to hate it when my coach would give me a run off the bike because coffee was what I always wanted and I wanted to finish at a cafe but if I had to run off the bike I couldn't finish at the cafe no that's so, true yeah my run off the bikes are very slow like I, if I if I'm out of the door within half an hour I still run off the bike yeah so I have time to do stuff I'm rolling a little bit stretching a little bit yeah, right taking a few spoons of yogurt and <laughs> A little bit of finding, uh, well, I can even have time for a coffee. It's still a run off the bike within 30 minutes. Right, 30 minute transition. That's fine. Let's hope that doesn't happen on Saturday. Well, it's, it does only come in training. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't think I want a little bit of yogurt when I come off the bike. <laughs> oh no, yogurt in this heat as well. Oh, ooh, no, <laughs> wouldn't be pretty. It wouldn't go no. well. No, I don't think it would sit well in your belly. <laughs> no. I don't think for a marathon. I don't think so. Thank you so much for, for joining me. Um, all the very best on Saturday. I'm very pumped that the injury seems to be on the positive side of things now um, because we're excited to see how you mix things up in this race because I think you're going to be a real contender and a game changer here. Thank you. Thank you so much. No worries.